So you, you talk about low failure rate. And the first thing I think of is like total cost of ownership now. Like what, what am I paying up front and over the life of the time of owning this piece of equipment? My guess is, is there's a big piece into this that we haven't talked about, which is licensing. So how, I, how does that play into it? I think this is a question for Robert because we're getting into the server world here. And I know that people are not going to, or I should say these manufacturers are not going to leave money on the table when it comes to licensing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's one of the biggest questions um, when we get questions on quotes at times is, is this licensing right? And the migration um, to virtualized environments, to cloud environments um, has had a huge influence on um, licensing uh, from major uh, companies like Microsoft and uh, backup companies like Veeam. Um, you know, as people migrate to these virtual environments, cloud environments, uh, the licensing becomes uh, per physical CPU. So the amount of CPUs that you have inside of a device um, is going to affect your licensing. So in the old days, you might have, you know, if it was only a few dollars here or there uh, to get 10 core, two 10 core processors as opposed to two eight core processors, you might have just done that just to have the extra horsepower. Uh, but nowadays that really can cost you in the long run if those aren't necessary to your environment. Um, it can just be licensing, more licensing fees that you're having to pay for those additional cores that you're really not getting as much use out of. So avoid, uh, avoid that as kind of a gotcha. Uh, when you're doing server builds, don't just buy the cheapest value or most valuable processor. Look at what you really need to avoid future licensing costs. That shocks me, if I'm honest with you. Um, only because I didn't know, it wouldn't have occurred to me. You know, but I also spent my whole life buying Windows personal licenses. So, you know, that tells you something too, right? 